Hi everyone, it's Gaylin, design team member with Unity Stamp Company. Today I have a big floral card that I'm going to use watercolor with. Um, it is really pretty stamp by Unity and it is called Unusual Day Poppy. And it's also it has a sentiment from the Better With Age um, Unity Kid of the Month. So um, this is stamped with, um, I used Ranger Archival ink, or you can use Gina K Designs Amalgam ink uh, for watercolor, and um, I used Canson watercolor paper. So these inks work with watercolor just perfectly, and I alternate between using um, either one of those with my watercolor. Now I use all new half pans for watercolor, um, and I'm using their large palette mat. I like the palette mat just for blending um, when I want to blend, and also I can watercolor right on that and not make a mess of my craft mat. So for this big flower, there's a lot of different uh, watercolor steps I use, and I first go in with just water on the sections I want to add color to, and then I dab, uh, like I dab the lightest pink first and blend that around to that flower petals that I want light. So I just want that for the background. Now I'm going to come in with just a darker pink. I think I have three pink shades on this uh, palette mat. One is more of a purple, the darkest shade. And then I come in with that second color and just dab it more from the center out. I want some areas darker and some areas lighter. And to do that, I just play with the petals and I try to figure where shade might be or a way to separate the different petals to make them stand out a little bit more. Um, so I just take my time and add layers uh, a little bit darker each time until I get the hue that I want for these um, pinks and purple shades. So um, I try to heat set in between each of the layers because otherwise the, the colors will blend maybe where you won't want them to blend, and other times I allow them to blend. So if I want to make a darker shade lighter, I allow it to blend in with the other colors, and sometimes I just want to start fresh with the darker, and I make sure it's dry, and start in with a darker shade, and then blend that out. Um, I just, I don't really have one way of doing it. Um, I just kind of do it the way, uh, the way I like the colors uh, to end up. And I keep going until I try to get a look that I want. And it's never the same twice with watercolor. It's not meant to be perfect. It's just meant to, to be a, a loose way of watercoloring. Now, when you heat set uh, with watercolor, I like to heat set the front and the back and then the front again, just to make sure the paper isn't too wrinkled or warped. Um, so I'm adding different layers of greens and then I'll come in with some black, a black shade towards the middle of this big poppy flower. I wanted, I originally thought I would color this red, but I decided to make it pink. I know there are pink poppies out there. Now to, once this is dry, once the flower is dry, I want to add some splatter. So I use a little mixing tray and I use Liquitex acrylic paint and just a dab of that. Um, I use just a dab of it. I use Liquitex basic Liquitech Basics. Then I add water to it with a mini mister and I use a narrow paintbrush and I just practice my dabbing to just dab onto the paintbrush itself um, to the side to make sure the splatters are the way, the size I want. And then I just lightly, very lightly tap the paintbrush over the flower areas that I want splatter. And there you go, it's really sweet. I like that. Sometimes I do it in black. I like to use black or white. Um, if I have a color of acrylic paint that matches the coloring I used, I'll use the color, but most likely it's going to be white or black the way I usually do the card making. Now for the sentiment, I just stamped on vellum and trimmed it and it was all layered very loosely. I hope you like this. Thanks for watching. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.